Welcome to our channel Science Kids. Today we will tell facts and information about the star which is the primary source of heat and light, the sun. Thought of the day. Science is the process of thinking God's thoughts after him by Johannes Kepler. Now comes the joke of the day. What is a train's favorite sweet? The answer is chewing gum. Words <laughs> of the day. First one, I will speak. Second one, Mana will speak. Très bien means very good in French. Ujambo is high in Swahili. It's one of the languages which is spoken in Tanzania and other countries. Nuclear fusion inside the sun. The sun is the primary source of heat and light and it also gives us energy. But do you know where this energy comes from? It comes from a process called nuclear fusion. Nuclear fusion is a reaction where atoms collide and their nuclei, nuclei combine to form a bigger nuclei. This process occurs because the temperature and pressure in the sun's core is so much that hydrogen and atoms collide to form helium. This releases tremendous amounts of energy that pushes against gravity and tries to escape. This energy is the heat and light we get from the sun. What does the sun give us which is good for our body? The sun gives us vitamin D. The sun provides a reliable source of vitamin D. When the sun's rays hit the skin, processes inside the tissue start making vitamin D. People do not need to get a tan or burn to get vitamin D. Several forms of vitamin D exist. The two major forms are vitamin D2 and vitamin D3. The sun's formation. The sun was formed about 4.5 billion years ago. About 5 to 6 billion years ago, a supernova explosion occurred. When the supernova blast occurred, the sound waves of the supernova, supernova reached the other side of the galaxy. This supernova explosion released a lot of gas clouds, which were pulled together by gravity. This made the gas clouds collide and found, form a round gas ball. At some point, the pressure in the core reached a critical amount and nuclear fusion occurred. This formed the sun. When the sun was first formed, it was very unstable. It was like a ticking time bomb that could explode at any time. But after a few million years, it became stable. The remaining gas, dust and rocks from the supernova explosion formed the planets, asteroid belts and the oot cloud. The sun's formation took, took approximately 10 to 20 million years. Now my friend Manav will say a few more things about the sun. Over to you, Manav. Hello everybody, I am Manav. The sun's overall composition. So hydrogen is 73%, helium is 25%, and 2% other elements. The sun compared to what? The sun's diameter is 3 crores, 1 lakh, 91,000 kilometers. That is about 109 times wider than the Earth's diameter, which is 12,742 kilometers. <clears throat> the weight of the sun is 1 million, 989 of billion, while the kg of four is just 5.9 septillion kg. Okay. Solar energy. Solar energy is the heat from the sun that will harnessed using a range of technologies such as solar power to generate electricity. Solar thermal energy including solar water heating 
or solar architecture. It is an essential source of renewable energy it, and its technologies are broad, broadly characterized as either passive, so passive solar or active solar, depending on how they capture and distribute solar energy or convert into convert it into solar power. Active solar uh, tech, uh, techniques include the use of photovoltaic systems, concentrated solar power, and solar water heating harness the energy. Solar eclipse. A solar eclipse occurs when a portion of the Earth is engulfed in a shadow cast by the by the moon, which fully or partially blocks sunlight. This occurs when the sun, moon, and earth are aligned. Such alignment coincides with a new moon, indicating the moon is closest to the ecliptic plane. In a total eclipse, the disk of the sun is fully obscured by the moon. In partial or annular eclipses, only part of the moon of the sun is obscured, obscure. If the moon, if the moon were in perfect, in perfectly circular orbit, orbit a little closer to the earth and in the same orbital plane, there would be total solar eclipse, uh, eclipses every time, every new moon. However, since the moon, moon's orbit is tilted and at more than five degrees to Earth's orbit around the sun, its shadow is usually its shadow usually misses Earth. Solar winds. The solar wind is a stream of charged particles released from the upper atmosphere of the sun called corona. It is mostly composed of electrons and protons. The solar wind varies in density, temperature, and speed over time and over solar latitude and longitude. Each particles can escape the sun's gravity because of their high, high energy resulting from the high temperature of the corona, which turn is a result of corona magnetic, uh, coronal magnetic field. At a distance of more than few solar radii from the sun, the solar wind reaches speed of 250 to 750 kilometers per second and is supersonic. Space missions to the sun, Parker Solar Probe. The Parker Solar Probe is a probe, space probe launched in 2018. Is a NASA space probe launched in 2018 with the mission making observations of, of the outer corona of the sun. It will approach within 9.8 9.86 solar radii, which is also equal to 6.9 kilometers or 4.3 million miles. 4.3 million, 6.9 million kilometers or 4.3 million miles from the center of the sun. And by 2025, will travel at closest approach as fast as 6, 690,000 kilometers per hour, which is also equal to 430,000 miles per hour. The project was announced in the fiscal uh, fiscal 2009 budget year. The cost of the project was US $1.5 billion. On 29 October 2018 at about 6.604 UTC, which is a uh, universal, uh, universal time. Uh, universal time. The spacecraft became the, the closest artificial object to the sun. The previous record, 42.73 million kilometers, which is also equal to 26.55 million miles from the sun's surface, was set by Helios 2 in April 1976. As of 21st November 2021, the Parker Solar Probe's closest approach is uh, 8.5 million kilometers, which is also equal to 
three million miles, this was supposed surpassed after each of the two remaining flybys to weeks of weeks. Amazing facts to blow your mind. The sun is sun is heavy as three hundred and thirty thousand zero sixty Earths. One million Earths can fit inside the sun. The sun holds ninety nine point eight six percent of all mass in the solar system. That remaining zero point twelve percent is the combined mass of all planets, asteroids, and remaining objects. Thank you for. Uh, if you learned something new today, give this video a like. Subscribe to our channel. Share it with your family members and your friends. And this is the sun part one. A part two is going to come. Uh, a, a part two is going to come in a, in the in our next video. Bye. Bye. Bye.